This video will show you how to import video into Logic. Videos often need audio work done on them for sound effects or ADR, which is automated or additional dialogue replacement. Logic has the ability to do this work. First, you're going to open a new session. Once you have a new session open, you can choose the type of audio that you plan on adding to the track. I'm just going to choose audio. Then I have a basic blank session ready to go with one track. From here, I'll go to the File menu, scroll down to Movie, over to Open Movie. From here, I'll go to wherever I've kept that video. In this particular case, I have it on an external drive. I'll select the video and click Open. It will import it. From here, it has a couple of things to ask. Do I want to open the movie? Yes. Do I want to extract the video? audio track from the video. In this case I would say yes because I want them to be two separate tracks. One will be the movie, one will be the audio track. I'll click OK. It then brings up a dialog box that talks about the frame rate. In this case my logic settings are at 25 FPS or frames per second but the video itself is at 29.97. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a project frame rate at 29.97. From here, once this is open, you'll see I have a couple of dialogue or a couple of uh, tracks now open. One of them is the movie. If I expand this, I can see the movie. And this track here is the audio that goes with it. You'll also see my blank audio track that I started at the beginning. There's also a video window. This lets me see the video so I can keep this small or I can move it around wherever I need to. If it gets in the way for any reason, I can close it. And notice it pops up over here on the left. I can collapse that window or I can keep it open. If I want to see it again, I just go to View, Show Movie Window, and it pops back up. I'm going to keep it up here for the moment. From this point, I can use this as my reference track. Or if there are things that do work that are in place correctly, I can line them up. This is very helpful if you're going to replace dialogue. Then you know exactly when dialogue starts and ends. Easy way to record and listen to these. I can add loops. I can add sound effects. Whatever else needs to take place for this video project. So that, in a nutshell, is how to import audio and then go ahead and create a separate audio track that I can use as a reference point.